Welcome replay viewers. We're here at Macy's Magical Meditation Monday and we're gonna do a little process today. So I can't wait to share this with you and it's so fun to come back to doing this but I'm gonna give it a moment for Facebook to um, share this video because I know it takes a second for it actually to go live and then we'll get started. Today's also the equinox, which is um, super just synchronistic, serendipitous that that's what is happening today when I decided to <laughs> do these sessions. And um, I'm going to see if I can share this. Hold on. No, I can't. Um, so anyway, there's just some fun energies we get to play with because of that. And yeah, I'm going to lead us in a practice that's called group regenerating images and memory. And it's actually not uh, specifically labeled meditation per se, but it's definitely a powerful process to help you access your um, inner wisdom and healing and all sorts of things. Oh yay! Hi Leslie! So I'm just giving it a moment for um, Facebook to share and for um, us to let people join. But um, in this process, we're, we're just going to want to have some quiet space. Welcome if you're just joining. We haven't started yet. Um, just so that you can um, really receive. That's really the power of this, is that you get to receive so much more than ever before and the other piece is that today being the fall equinox it actually holds so much more for us although for me I really feel like we can always access these kind of high vibrational energies whatever day it is but I just thought that was interesting that um, there's even more uh, language around it today because of that. Hi Amber, oh good. So it looks like some people are joining and so we can probably get started pretty soon. How is everyone? Just post if you are here. Gail, I see you. I hope you can stay for a bit. If not, I know you have to do other things so you can come back later. Um, so, so I just wanted to talk about this whole like fall equinox thing because what, um, I've been reading about it is that there is, it's like there's cracks in the electromagnetic field at this time of year when the days and, and nights are equal time that, allow us to access more high, high vibrational energy. So, yay, I'm so glad you're here. So, when we can, and, and this high vibrational energy can be something that really contributes to us awakening more of ourselves, to our consciousness, to our beingness, to our awareness, and you know, really, this is something we can do no matter what time of year it is. Um, so I thought that it would be fun to just explore that. And if you missed the beginning, I was talking about, I really want to play with um, a practice that I call, it's called Group RIM, Regenerating Images and Memory. And it's really transformational 
work that was developed by Dr. Deb Sandella, and I am, I've been studying with her for several years now, and it's really changed my life, and it's really changed the way I live my life. So I want to guide you through a process that, um, you know, is very personal. So in terms of every person is going to have a different experience for themselves, and it's not, you know, a lot of people say, oh, it's a guided meditation. It's not actually that. It's actually you just connecting with yourself. And you can call that meditation or not. You can call it whatever you want. Um, but I know that Dr. Deb doesn't call it a guided visualization or guided meditation because that's not what it is. It's something that you're actually accessing within you. And with a guided visualization, it's like you're being told kind of what to see. And then you're experiencing that. So, so if you are here and ready and want to receive this meditation, get comfortable. Let's begin. And just start with, you can close your eyes or not. I like to close my eyes. I'll probably have my eyes closed during this. And as you close your eyes or just begin to focus on something, um, just begin to bring your attention to your breath. And as you bring your attention to your breath, just allow yourself to arrive here in this moment allow yourself to really land here. It's so easy to try to multitask or, 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 you know, be distracted. And what if you gave yourself a couple minutes right now to just really receive? And as you're here, just asking your body, the space to lower any barriers to you receiving this. And you don't have to do anything but just sensing this arrival, the lowering of the barriers, the decision to be here, the choice to be here. And as you breathe, just noticing the breath. Noticing with each breath, your body relaxing into this moment. And you can choose to take a long, deep breath and see how that is. Landing here. And then on the next breath, just following that breath as you move inward. Following that breath into that inner world. We're following that breath into the space that is here on this fall equinox day. So as you just move your attention into it, you're just sensing it. You're just moving into a sense of the energy of the equinox today. You may notice it within your body or around your body, but whatever you notice, just give yourself to it knowing that you can't do this wrong, that you are having your own personal experience of it. And even if you don't feel like you're noticing anything or sensing anything that you get to be with that just sort of that space of hmm I don't really notice much be with the I don't notice much be with that so that whatever is there you get to be with it And then your imagination will guide us. Your imagination 
may want to put that into form. You may, your imagination will just give it form or color or quality, or it may just stay as an energy or a nothingness or a space. Whatever it is, just begin to be even more with it. If you notice a color, maybe there's a spectrum of that color or just a solidity. If you notice a form, just notice how much space it's taking up in and around your body. Or maybe it's taking up a bigger space. If it's an image you can name, just notice the details of that. Whatever it is, be with this. Because you can't do it wrong. Sensing it. And then as you're here, and if you notice any sounds in the background, just let that take you deeper into it. As you're here with the sense of this energy of this equinox energy that's here to contribute to you today, just move your awareness into it as best you can. Moving into it Maybe you get just beside it or near it, or maybe you're already in it. Just whatever you notice about moving into it, like you can zoom in and become part of it. And as you zoom in to become part of it or next to it or submersed by it, you begin to sense more about it. You begin to sense what this equinox energy is here to bring you, heal within you, change for you, or offer insight about you whatever it is you begin to become aware of what's here for you today and just notice what it's like to be here sensing that knowing that knowing that whatever shows up as perfect in here, just in your mind, in your consciousness, in your being, just begin to answer, begin to ask these questions and trusting, completing these sentences from this space, from the space of this energy of the, the equinox. in whatever form it's showing up for you. What I am here to reveal to you, what I'm here to share with you, what I'm here to tell you is. What I'm here to tell you is, and just noticing what this energy is here to share with you. And you may even be in this energy looking back at you to answer the question. What I'm here to tell you is. And just noticing. And you may or may not even have words for it. You may just have a sense of what it is for you. And as you hear the lawnmower go by, just let that bring you even deeper into what it is I'm here to tell you.
to share with you. And as you're here in this equinox energy or form or essence, looking back at you or not, you may see you in the space or it may just all be within you. As you're here in this energy, speaking for this energy, saying, what I'm aware of that you can let go of right now. What I'm aware of that you can let go of. And just sensing, receiving this wisdom from this equinox energy that's here right now. And then from this equinox energy, speaking from there in your head or out loud if you want, speaking from the equinox energy, what I see is possible for you that I don't think you see as possible for you is what I see is possible for you that I don't think you see is possible for you is just noticing what's arising it may be may not even be able to be put into words and that's okay. What I see is possible for you that I don't think you see is possible for you. Receiving that. And then as you're here in this equinox energy, in the form of this equinox energy, whatever it is for you, and it may just check in with it right now. It may, it may be the same as where it started and it may, may have changed forms. Just notice how it feels now, noticing what it's like. And then from here, just speaking anything else that wants to be spoken about from this equinox energy here on the planet right now, whatever it wants to share with you, to contribute to you, to make you aware of, to gift you right now, go ahead and speak that anything else. And then noticing how it feels how it feels to be able to share this with you. How this feels from this equinox energy to share this with you, be here with you and for you and in service of you. And then moving your awareness back to you, coming out of that equinox energy, and it may just sort of 
come with you and surround you, but actually being able to come back to you and your relationship to this equinox energy that's available to you right now. And noticing this perspective as you are looking back at that equinox energy or bringing your attention back to it wherever it is and just noticing what it's like now and as you notice what it's like in this moment as these things can be so dynamic as you notice what it's like in this moment go ahead and receive all this wisdom, all the expression, all of this awareness, receive it like it's a stream of colored energy and noticing the color and the quality and where it's coming into your body. And your imagination's just gonna put that into form so you can sense it and experience receiving it and just allowing yourself to lower any barriers to receiving this wisdom, this healing, this change, whatever it is, like a stream of colored energy. And as you notice it coming to your body, notice where it's coming in and noticing as it comes in, it just naturally moves and expands throughout your whole body and being. Noticing how it naturally deepens and expands and flows so that it quickly fills in every cell of your body and being. And from this place of having filled in, go ahead and speak out loud in your head, or if you can out loud in your space, what I heard, what I received from you is. What I heard from you, what I received from you is. Speaking out loud about what you receive from this equinox energy. What I heard from you, what I received from you is. What I heard from you, what I received from you is. And speaking from here about this equinox energy, what I am realizing now that I didn't know is, didn't know before. What I'm realizing is possible now that I didn't know before. Speaking that in your mind or out loud and I'm realizing now that I didn't know before and any other awarenesses that are coming through go ahead and speak that now How it feels to know this, how it feels to have received this, how it feels to know this now. Just noticing how that feels. And as you notice how that feels, just noticing that in your body Noticing 
that feeling of having received this equinox energy, this high vibrational energy and awareness that so much of it doesn't necessarily have words, but just being able to receive as best you can all of the awareness, all of the support, all of the healing that is here in this energy now and sensing that in your body, being able to receive the, the awareness that you can name and put to words, but also receive the infinite amount of support that's here that cannot be put to words, knowing that you get to choose to receive that right now, just sensing, receiving that, Noticing how good it feels to just be in this moment where you're surrounded by this high vibrational energy from the planet, from the universe. And just give yourself a moment to receive that fully and completely. In whatever form you sense it in. You may actually notice feelings in your body you may sense things in your body you may just have a a knowingness you may even sense it sense this connection to it way beyond your body way beyond this universe and you may even right now just take a moment to experience and just sense the vastness of it right now. The vastness and the expansive aspects of this support that's here. And if you find one within your body, find one that's just around your body. When you find, when you sort of sense that, you can then sense even more beyond that, beyond that, beyond that, that you are part of that greater, greater one energy, the oneness of it all, that it's here for you to receive right now, choosing to receive it, choosing to allow it to be part of your beingness, part of your universe. Snoring dogs that bring you deeper. Snoring dogs that bring even more of that vibration <laughs> or put sound to that vibration, if you can hear them. <laughs> so that's what you get to play with now and forever and just noticing that space that's here and letting that just continue to be available knowing that you can return to this at any time knowing that anything that you would like to be do or have be, do, have, or heal is available in this moment right here and now. So give yourself to it. Relax into it. Let every cell of your being say yes to it. Yes, 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 yes. 50 trillion yeses. Feel that. Yes, 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 yes. Feel it, feel it, feel it. Let it get louder, 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 louder. Louder, louder, louder. louder. 
and then your body will gently bring you back to your space and when it's ready your eyes will open and that's what you get to play with today so I hope that was helpful and I'd love to hear from you and I just want to share that um, I will be doing a deep experience of this practice coming up October 22nd it'll be starting it's called love lab single study safe to be you in love and this series is one that I um, that includes a deep version of this practice where you'll get healing and coaching but the coolest part of it is that you get to really have the tools to pra to follow along on your own journey so that you can see how you are evolving and um, shifting like that and it's not actually an official study although the first one I did was and the beautiful part about that was that we saw amazing results and the results showed us that this process creates change with everyone a hundred percent of the people who participated noticed an improvement in their self-esteem and their their relationship well-being and that's through the assessments that we did and this one is called safe to love oh, safe to be you in love so we're really in we are working on developing that safety and security within which is everything when we have that safety and security within to be ourselves then that's when we can receive uh, the best possible relationship that's when we we can create that and we can create all sorts of things in our life because we are the ones we have the secret formula it's your secret formula to love that can be revealed in this process amber says 50 trillion yeses has my body running or gone i don't know what that meant um wow best day ever yay so yeah the 50 trillion yeses felt really fun um so you know really think about it if you're interested in having a deeper practice and having this weekly um class they're about 90 minute classes and they're all be recorded and we'll have a training site so you can go back to it if you missed a class and you'll have the opportunity to do some check-ins where i will be supporting you along the way and there'll be um powerful integration practices included in every session so that you're really getting it so it sticks and so i i love doing this and i'm really excited for it so it's called love lab single study safe for you to love again or safe for what did i call it oh geez safe um for you for you to be you in love something like that safe to be you in love there we go um so i invite you into that that's something that's coming next and i also am opening up to doing um some friday chats here i have been calling them love and lattes i might change the name i don't know um where we we talk about different dating topics and relationship stuff and and sort of the energy and the spiritual aspects of playing into love so i invite you to that too so thank you so much for joining and there will be more to come yay thank you amber deep connection and celebration today with the everything yeah that is really there's so much ease with that today so we get to take advantage of it so thank you we'll see you really soon bye